We just launched into a game at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you haven't tried playing at Mahjong time yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information about their VIP trial. Let's check out these tiles. We do have a joker, no flowers, two wins, singles, one five seven in bams, two four five in cracks, one two nine in dots with a pair of nines. We're starting with the nines. With the rest of our tiles, we could maybe play big odds, so let's keep the fives and the seven. We could play maybe one nine with three five seven in the middle. There's some possibility there. Let's start here. The hand I'm talking about is the fourth one down under odds. We do have a one bam pair now. There is a hand in mixed suits in odds, but it only needs a pair of nines. It's the first hand on the right. Let's just continue gathering with ones and nines in different suits. That would be the hand to play. We'll just see what we get. We're gonna gather. Here's a one nine in cracks. So we have a, a lot of odds and we're gonna have to now make a choice. Let's discard this, uh, let's see, one bam, one, three, five. We really don't need a pung of nines. Let's let the one crack go. And this, let's see, oh, I know what we could maybe do. Five, seven, nine in mixed suits. So let's keep the one for that fourth hand down, the five. I think the one bam's gonna have to go. And maybe this nine crack. All right, here we go. This is a bit of a challenge. Let's just see how this develops. We got a one, one dot, here's a five bam. We could play, oh, let's see, did we let go of that five or seven crack? I don't remember, did we have a seven crack? Five, seven, nine, one, five, seven, one. We definitely should keep going. I think we could let the five crack, wait a minute. Let's see, five, seven, seven, nine, we have a gap, no seven dot. Third hand down on the right. We could maybe do five, seven, five, seven, nine. Second hand from the bottom. This is gonna require us at this point to pass like numbers, which I really don't like to do. But we're kind of in between hands. Fourth hand down, we have no flowers though. All right, now here's a bit of a development. We have a white dragon and an eight, and then here's a nine crack. We could maybe switch to like numbers with nines, but it's really weak, so I would let it go. Probably let this eight dot go also. I think maybe the five can go, or even this dragon. Let's let the dragon go. Oh my goodness. That's another thing I don't like to pass, white dragons. We got the one and the nine back again. All right, we'll work, work with it. Go with the flow. We'll pay it forward. It'd be kind of nice if we could get a seven dot or a three bam. Or maybe a flower if someone is feeling generous. Typically, you don't get flowers in the Charleston. No keepers. We can pass these on. Let's see what our opponent wants first. Two. We can do two. We'll give him an eight and a one. So I think we're probably, it's probably safest to play five, seven, seven, nine, third hand down on the right. But we could also try for the one, three, five hand. But we would have to, we would have to define a joker as a flower. 
If we draw a flower, I would, there it is. Okay, so I think we should play then the, we have, we're actually set for the fifth hand, one, two, three, four, fifth hand down, no, no, fourth hand down, under odds. We need a three dam single, but we can call, we can maybe Kong the one nine, pung the flower, and then be ready on the three. It would be nice if we can draw it. That's the wrong three. Let's see, let's keep the five bam because if we get seven dots and build up the five, seven, seven, nine hand, third one down on the right, we could switch to that. You can use any number of jokers there. It's a plan B. There's a seven crack, five, seven. We'll let the six bam go. This is where I was thinking about maybe five, seven bam, five, seven crack, nine dot. Let's see. We're actually, we're actually set on that hand too. And there's, there's less risk there. Let's just see what develops. So now we're in between five, seven, five, seven, nine, second hand from the bottom on the right or the fourth hand down. Let's wait, that's the first flower out. Somebody else is thinking about it. We, we would need a, a pung. We would need a pung for that hand of flowers. We need a pair there, so we're gonna pass. We don't need a six. So one five crack is out, that's one of our pair tiles. So, so we will have to keep an eye on that. We're equally set for the other hand. So I probably wouldn't play five, seven, seven, nine, third hand down since the seven dot just went out. So here we have two, four, six, eight with eights. They need a pair of fours and two pairs of eights. That's the fourth hand down under uh, evens. Six bam we don't need. Six bamboos. Seven bamboos. Okay, that would be a pung for us. Three bam, none are out. That's the first seven out, so let's pass. For, we'll let that go for now. There's another seven bam. Okay, now here we're getting, we're getting pushed a bit. Let's go ahead and pung, I think. Hmm. We'll let the flower go. This is a little risky because if there's a five crack out, but we're actually set. If someone throws a seven bam, we could pung. We could con the nine and be ready on the five, but it is a little risky. We have two discards. We'll let that white dragon go. Hesitation there. There's our three bam. We needed that for a single, for that fourth hand down. Nine characters. Two dot can go. Two dots. Six bamboos. Let's hope that nine dot or seven bam come out. We'll of course pass. That's a pair for us. Seven characters. Oh, they got our joker. Huh. One dot. They actually got two joker exchanges. All right, let's let the one dot go. One dot. Actually, joker. that's that is our. Oh, oh, someone discarded a joker. Flower. Hmm. Flower. Oh, ho, ho. flowers are going down. Five dots. Okay, right now the one dot is our safest Nine discard. Nine bamboos. Seven dots. Oh, we get the seven crack. That Six actually is dots. our safest discard Flower. now. Oh, Six dots. It would have been nice to get our own joker back. Seven bamboos. There's the seven bam we'll pung. Pung. One now dot, one more exposure and everyone's going to know what we want. So at this point, it'd be nice bamboos. to draw a five crack or a nine dot, maybe a joker would be nice. 
Red dragon. The seven bam would be ideal. There's a joker. Seven characters. So now we're ready to win on the five crack. Six bamboo. That was discarded earlier. Nobody Red wanted dragon. it, so hopefully we'll see it again. Three characters. Oh, we got that three bam. Three bamboos. Five dots. Let's hope we don't draw an eight. Eight bam, eight dot. That's what our opponent Nine across bamboos. from us needs. They also need a pair of four cracks. Nine characters. It would be very nice if we could Six win dots. sooner rather than later because they have two exposures. One dot. We need that five crack. And this is the second hand four from the bottom. Characters. Oh, they've got their pair of fours. Three bamboos. Three crack can go. Three characters. We're in the end game. Five characters. There it is. Mahjong. Mahjong. Five, seven, nine. And it was a very tight race. We have a couple players ready to win here. Let's go check it out. After I confirm this hand, five, seven, five, seven, nine, second hand from the bottom on the right. Over here, we have a player who might have switched to defense at this point. They might have been playing a 369 hand, but it looks like maybe they were playing concealed news over here. This player is ready to win on a pure hand. They needed an eight bam, no jokers. That would have been expensive. That is the fourth hand down under evens. That would have been a 60 point hand if they had won. And if you throw into that double again, that would have been a very expensive hand. Here we have news concealed, ready to win on a north or a green dragon. So this was a very tight race. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.